Hey everybody, Sam back once again, and look what we got in the house. The LG G2. Yes, GG. Oh. Anyway people, let's unbox it. So yes, the LG G2. Now I have actually um, tried to do this video once and I kind of failed with the unboxing. So I've just cut it and I've pulled it up a little bit. This is the hardest box I've ever bloody known to actually pop up. And I might even have to take it off camera again because it's so, so tight. That's what she said. And yeah, there's the eco packaging. Jumping onto the side here, as you can see, I have just pre I've just pretty much cut it straight away now. And obviously all the information. And yes, it is a promotional box, which means we get a free G2 quick window case enclosed. On the back of the box, it gives you all the information. It's at this point you kind of go like, damn, this phone is fully loaded. It has got pretty much everything you want in a smartphone and then some. So I'm going to attempt to try and pull this off here. It's a bit hard the angle I'm at. Yeah, I'm telling you, it is the hardest box I have ever, ever known. So again, I had to pull it off as far as I could without actually, you know, being like leaving it here and looking silly. Although I'm looking quite silly now, not being able to pull it off. And bam, there we go. We finally got her open. So there she is, the LG G2. And as you said, it's got this promotional case that I do get with my model here. I'm just gonna uh, open up and just put that to the side. So you may not have seen one of these ones before. So we get some cardboard. And we also get, ooh, we get a little uh, pull tab here. Ah, oh, well, there's a bit, a bit of plastic. So we get the quick start guide. Yeah, we get some pretty nice um, headphones. Are these the are oh, the what they call Quad Beat Twos? So I hope you can kind of see that. There, uh, there we go. That's better, Sam. Try and read it from that side. So there's the Quad Beat Two headphones. If you want me to review the headphones, then let me know because I don't really normally review the headphones in my my, my um, reviews. But if you want me to review it, I will um, include that one in there for you. And yes, we get the standard 3-pin UK plug adapter, because it is a UK model, with a USB. And last, but certainly not least, we get the micro USB, with it's a pretty nice looking cable, which is that one. I might actually use that one. And actually, no, it's not last, but not least. This is last, but G least. Get that? G, G least. You get the actual um, symmetry ejector tool. So let's pop that off to the side, and let's actually have a look at the beast herself, or himself whichever you want to call it. I always say some funny things. What can I say? I'm from Yorkshire. And there we go. We have the little uh, multi-window. I think call it multi-window. Some kind of window, they call it. So we're just going to pop that actual phone out of its case so I can actually show you around it. Got a feeling I might have probably powered it on at that point as well. Anyway, so here it is. Here's the actual case itself. I will make a review for this case. It's not got any kind of windows, so it's got a window, but it's not got any kind of glass or plastic there. And obviously it's got the nice size cutouts there for the back of the phone itself. I'm gonna say that's pretty nice actually. It's got like a really nice kind of textured look to it. And it kind of feels a little bit textured as well. And all in all, it feels pretty nice. Apparently the retail price for this one in the UK is 50 pounds, 49.99, which in dollars is about 80, 70 to 80 ish dollars. I don't know if it's going to be worth that much, but we will tell you in the full review. But let's have a look at the actual, the bad boy, yes, this beast of a phone, the LG G2. Now, it's just telling you some of the information on the actual side of the, on the, front, on the front of the display there. What I'm going to try and do is hopefully, see if I can uh, pull this off a little bit closer to the microphone. We're going to pull it off. Um, you know, quite satisfying. Now, I had a choice to get it in black or white. I chose for the white option. Mainly for the fact that most people I've seen have them, have got the black ones. But I pref I like white phones as well. Um, I just like it. I just thought it looked really nice. I like that it's got a white bezel, not a black bezel. See if we can take this side off one as well. See if you can hear anything. Oop. Ah, a little bit. Slightly satisfying. So here they are. Here the actual, uh, the actual camera and the volume up and down and the power button and the LED flash. Now that is a 30 megapixel camera with the optical image stabilization. So they've gone down the Ally Nokia route at the moment and HTC route um, with the optical image stabilization. You get your LG branding there. It's dwarfed by the 5.2 inch 1080p display. And I got to admit, the screen is absolutely fantastic. I believe it's a two megapixel front facing camera. So you can actually do full 1080p on that one as well. Down the sides of the device, there's nothing. It is completely bare all the way down both sides. And again, that's because the volume up and down is there and the power button's there as well, the power just lock button. So we'll uh, boot her on for the first time 
we'll uh, see what she's like in terms of booting it up. And I said, the actual screen of spider is an absolute mammoth. Now, to run down the full specifications for you, if you're not too sure what's in there, 2.26 gigahertz quad-core processor, which is the Snapdragon 800 CPU with two gigabytes of RAM. For those non-tech heads out there, what does that mean? Damn bloody fast, that's what it means. It is an absolute scorcher of a device. And again, it's got, it's got full 1080p, the 5.2 inches. So here it is, here's the actual setup screen. I will be making a separate video for these ones. Um, a lot of people like the idea of actually me going through the full setup because if you first got if you got your device for the first time and you're not too sure what to do with it, then obviously you want to see what you can do with it. If you want to see that one, do um, click the link in the description, and I'd forgot to show you the uh, micro USB port, the um, 3.5 mm headphone jack, and the speakers as well. Yeah. Anyway, people, as always, any questions, leave those comments down below. If you want to follow me on Twitter, I'm at Sam J. Pullen. I have picked a few people to join the channel, so I expect those videos up on the channel pretty soon. And yeah, expect my website to be uh, booming with content, samjpullen.com. Anyway, people, as always, I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Cheers, everyone.